Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. This is the shocking moment a wheelchair user is forced to drag himself along the floor of the plane to use the toilet, leaving him feeling embarrassed. Spencer Watts was on board a Wizz Air flight from Gatwick to Rome when he asked air cabin crew if they had an aisle chair he could use. But he was given a pretty straight no as the wheelchair hadn't been fitted yet to the budget airline's new aircraft. The female flight attendant tells the sales assistant we don't have this kind of service and says there is nothing she can do from our side. Unfortunately, when he asks if there is any way he can get to the toilet, Mr. Watts, who has a spinal cord injury, is seen in the heartbreaking footage lowering himself onto the floor where he accidentally knocks another person's arm, before he drags himself past other passengers. The shocking footage will be shown in a new Channel 4 documentary to highlight the mistreatment of disabled people on planes. Mr. Watts was one of 17 passengers with mobility issues who agreed to go undercover for paraplegic TV presenter Sophie Morgan's Fight to Fly, which airs on Monday at 9 p.m. He had already been waiting on board the delayed was air flight for an hour before it eventually took to the sky. The plane had been in the air for a little while when Mr. Watts asks whether there is an aisle chair he can use. The flight attendant briefly goes back behind the curtain to ask a colleague before quickly returning to tell him there isn't one on board. In the awkward exchange, Mr. Watts tells her that realistically you shouldn't be allowing people that can't walk on the airplane without an aisle chair. I know, but they didn't fit the wheelchair in this aircraft, she replies. What I can do from my side is to report this situation, because of course it's not nice for anybody. Mr. Watts says he did receive an apology, but was left having to choose between being in a lot of pain, because you can't go for a wee, or shuffling along the floor. I had no option, but to ask my fellow passengers on the side to move out of the way and drag myself along the floor and into the toilet, Mr. Watts says. It's just embarrassing, and you feel very small. There are a lot of people on this airplane that are looking at you like what the hell is going on. So that whole experience is very, very horrible. Ms. Morgan is barely able to watch the footage back as she angrily hit out at the airline for putting Mr. Watts in a dangerous situation. Not only is he dragging himself along the floor, which is undignified, unfair, unjust, all of these things, she says. What you don't know is that he has got a spinal injury. He's putting his body at risk. He's dragging himself along the floor. The consequences of that could be further injury, which could lead to bed rest, which could lead to pressure sores. It's not just inhumane, it's dangerous. A Wizz Air spokesperson said, We were extremely sorry to hear about the experiences of these customers. We understand the importance of wheelchairs for users. Unfortunately, on this particular flight, there was no aisle wheelchair. We are in the process of having aisle chairs available on all of our aircraft with 85% of our fleet already having them. In another clip, a group of disabled people are seen getting helped onto a Wizz airplane. As they sit there waiting for the delayed flight to depart, the pilot appears to blame the holdup on their wheelchairs being loaded onto the plane. We have some wheelchairs in the front cargo, he says in an announcement to all the passengers on board. Now it looks like they figured it out, and due to that, of course we lost our spot in the sequence, and now we request a new one. So sorry again for any inconvenience this may have caused. Ms. Morgan is left shocked by the footage and labels the announcement cruel. She says, can you believe how that feels if you are a wheelchair user? That's so cruel. For disabled people who are flying, they are already feeling this system is not built for them. They have had their wheelchairs removed from them and now they are sitting there anxious, uncomfortable, sitting on seats that they can't move from. And they have just been called out by the captain for disrupting the flight. Around half of 500 people surveyed by disability equality charity scope said they felt d.